here we go again. Hello everybody, it's Ebony JB and I'm back with another video. Again. I know you're sick of me. I'm sick of myself. I'm sick of this. You know, I wanted the beef and I wanted the drama, but now I... Now I'm not so sure. I am going to react to Kendrick's Meet the Grahams and... And not like us? Is that what it's called? In, in one. I just feel like I'm being, you know, held at gunpoint to just hear disses every minute now. Can, when, what, who, when, who's gonna wave the white flag? Is it Drake? Is he gonna call the quits now? Please, we're tired of keeping up. Be private, go back to being private individuals. As I said in my last video, I feel like Drake is not taking this as serious as Kendrick is. Kendrick really seems to hate Drake with a passion, with such a deep enriched, you know, sense of urgency. Like he just needs to get this hate out there. Drake seems to be disgruntled, don't get me wrong. He is annoyed, but I think it's he's, he's finding it humorous as well. Do you know one thing I've realized from this? Drake is actually older. Drake is older by, than Kendrick, even though Kendrick looks older and in a sense acts older because Drake is quite youthful. Drake doesn't seem to be taking this. I think he's a bit more chillaxed. Also saying that one thing that I came to realize with this beef here is that Drake is a pop star, a superstar, an international superstar. He sings, I've brought this up before, he sings as well. So that's why like being the most lyrical in things isn't his like be all and end all. That's Kendrick's be all and end all, but Drake is a well-rounded artist. So he's, he does other things. Um, so rap isn't his be all and end all really. I feel like rap is a bit more, even though Kendrick says rap is in his life, it's the craft that he really wants to hone on and focus on and use to, for a better, for a better reason, for the greater good or whatever. Whereas Drake is like an artist. And whenever people always ask me like, why are you a fan of Drake? Like he's not even a great rapper. I said, he's my favorite artist. Like he's an artist, like well-rounded. I like that he sings. I like that he raps. I like that he's Canadian, it's different. I like that, you know, there's, he's different and he's got different facets to him. So considering that, it's the fact that it's like, he is going against somebody that's just a rapper. And at the same time, everyone is getting at him at the same time, not just Kendrick, but he is going against a guy who is solely a rapper, a poet, essentially. Kendrick is essentially a poet. I just think he raps as well, but he's more so a poet. So what kind of fight is that? Like, if I'm trying to like reason that fight, like, does this make sense? I'm starting to lose the sense of this all. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry that that man is your father. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be not responsive. I look. How is he saying, Dear Adonis? You're addressing. First of all, we've got the piano, the haunting piano keys, and then you come just addressing the son. The poor boy. Part with a world kind of. I'm sorry that you gotta grow up and then stand behind him. Life is hard, I know. A chance until we grow. And hey, you're a good kid that need good leadership. Considering he talks about sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we're growing. If everyone's listened to the, to Kendrick's um, what do you call it, Mr. Morales is actually um, and there he talks about daddy issues, father issues, that kind of thing, that kind of generational passed down pain and suffering and issues so he's kind of following the, th the same trope here talking about drake and his son let me be your mentor oh Daddy, that's disrespectful you shit. never oh. let a man piss on your leg son either you die right there or pop that man in the head son never remember you could be a bitch even if you got bitches never cold switch whether right or wrong you're a black man even if it don't benefit your goals do some push-ups get some discipline okay so he's done the push-ups he's played on push-ups there never cold switch whether right or wrong you a black man even if it don't benefit your goals do some push-ups cold switching so what's interesting is that he said Adonis you're a black man but for the whole of his question Drake's blackness so he said oh your dad's a questionable black man but you son you're a black man this is really disrespectful 
Do some push-ups, get some discipline. Don't cut through corners like your daddy did. Fuck what Ozempic did. Don't pay to play with them Brazilians. Get a gym membership. Understand, no throwing rocks and hiding hands. That's law. Don't be ashamed about who you with. That's how he treats your moms. Don't have a... So we got BBL references there, whatever, like surgery references again to get his six-pack or whatever, something like that. Drake doing some kind of surgery. Again, that's attacking his masculinity, his man, his manhood. We've got him addressing that the fact Drake is embarrassed of the mom, which is a bit sad. Because I do feel like he did have a bit of sense of shame at the beginning. Um, with, of course, the mom's history and what she used to do to earn a living. But she doesn't do that anymore. Um, I think she's an artist. She's actually an artist. So, like, it's kind of sad that that, that, that that is always going to follow her. Like, no one's going to look at what she's doing now. And then that's being used to then dis the father of their, their, their child. Um, it's just getting really, it's getting really gnarly. Have a kid to hide a kid to hide again, be sure. 5% will comprehend, but 95 is lost. Be proud of who you are. Your strength come from within. A lot of superstars, that's real. But your daddy ain't one of them. And you oh. nothing like him. You'll carry yourself as king. Just play this when you're 18. What's so mad is that Adonis probably will play this when he's older. His friends or his mutuals, his dad would probably tell him, Adonis, don't you ever dare play any Kendrick Lamar song in your life. And will tell him to just avoid it at all costs. Or maybe Drake will tell him to listen to it. I feel like actually Drake might be a bit like, son, there's this guy, you know, in my career, you know what it's like. They make music, there's, there's battles, there's this and that. And he made a song and he addressed you and it's up to you if you want to listen to it. Um, I would not want to, you know, keep you from enlightening yourself and having your own perspective i thought actually drake might take that route um kendrick's got to give drake some credit he, he doesn't seem like you know a horrible guy so i don't know man i don't know anything i've never met the dude dear sandra your son's got some heaven especially with all the girls that's hurt inside this climate you're a woman so you know how it feels to be in alignment what he more did is you gave birth to a master manipulator even using you to prove who he is is a huge favor i think you should ask for more paper and more paper oh. and more uh, more paper oh blame you, the man that like to play victim you raised a horrible fucking person the nerve of you dennis sandra sit down what i'm about to say is heavy now listen <laughs> Your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think niggas like him should die. Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest of their life. He hates black women, hypersexualize them with kinks of a nympho fetish. Grew facial hair because he understood being the beard just fit him better. He got sex and a child should never be compromised and he keeping his child around him. And we gotta raise our daughters knowing there's predators like him lurking. Fuck a rap battle, he should die so all of these women can live with a purpose. I've been in this industry 12 years, I'ma tell y'all one little secret. There's some weird shit going on and some of these artists be here to police it. They be streamlining victims all inside of their home and calling them tender. Then leak videos, set themselves to further push their agendas. To any woman that be playing this music, know that you're playing your sister. When it's Cat Williams that gave you the truth, so I'ma get mine. The embassy about to get ready too, it's only a matter of time. Hey, Lil Bronx, looking at you too, if you're standing by him. Keep the family away, I'm looking to shoot through. Any pervert that lives, keep the family safe. That your father not active inside your world He don't commit to much but it's music Yeah, that's for sure He a narcissist, misogynist Living inside his songs Try to destroy families Rather than taking care of his own Should be teaching you Pause it right now for a second This is why you can't put artists or musicians Or any kind of person in the art field that you respect On a pedestal Because a lot of them are troubled and that's what Kendrick is trying to get out here, that Drake is a bit tro troubled, that he's a paedophile, essentially. Which is, I mean, accusations have been around that he has dated girls that are maybe borderline too young. Borderline, tethering on the line. But that's just what we publicly know, isn't it? What about what we don't know? For any celebrity, like I'm always questioning, I'm all because you never know, and they've got teams, teams to keep things quiet or to change the narrative. They've got brains, minds pulled together, working together to maintain an image. So it's like celebrities, you've always got a pinch of salt, but that is a lot. That is a lot, and then he went on to say, again, Drake's devalues women 
the misogynist, a predator, you know, the value that he likes to place in the public is not what it is in the shadows. Um, and even some people say that publicly his music is misogynistic. Now I feel like a lot of elements of rap can be misogynistic because it's a very male dominated field. So I'm not going to just, you know, it is very rare that we get a rapper that really deviates away from sounding that way sometimes when they're rapping is very rare. But um, there has been this argument before and I've heard it. I've heard it and I've kind of seen reason in it with the way that it always seems to be that Drake is facing women with problems or the women are the problem. And there's rarely ever a time where he's the problem. I think there's been like three or four songs where like he's the problem. He's outed himself and said, that was on me. I failed there. I did this. But more often than not, it's like, the woman is this or the woman is that or he's experienced so much so many women in his life and the women are the ones that let him down you do it repeats itself sometimes it don't need a reason but i would like to say it's not your fault that he's hiding another child give him grace this the reason i made mr morale so i pay no behavior sitting in the club with sugar daddies for validation you need to know that love is eternity he also ta ta oh sorry he also ta um oh, gosh he also talks about Drake's like basically immaturity and as I said at the beginning of the video Drake is older by a year but it doesn't give that even and I've, I've said this before like when he's like of recently his last few albums apart from like honestly never mind which I really did love because it was a different take he went on but he has started to create or sound a bit out of touch because it's like we know he's getting to this age to this point and I'm all for people getting older and staying youthful but there's getting older and staying youthful in a nice, healthy, cute way. And then there's getting older and then still doing things that is a little bit like, haven't you learned better right now to, or is it that you have learned better, but you don't care because it's just like, you're so wealthy, you don't care. Money can fix it or you're fine with living with it or living that way, even though you know better. So it does get to that point, I was saying, it. his music does get a bit out of touch because it's a bit like, okay, you're talking about these things and you're 37 and it's just like, when are you gonna stop doing these things that really and truly are kind of negatively impacting in the long run? Um, when are you gonna look after yourself, truly? When are you gonna, like, still have fun, go on your holidays, go Turks and Caicos, nobody's telling you to not do that, but when are you gonna take that inward evolution nobody's telling him to do a whole like savior kind of thing like kendrick does where he's really trying to save everyone i'm just trying to say what are you gonna try save yourself uh, pain. I tell you who your father is, just play the song when it rains. Yes, he's a hit maker, songwriter, superstar, right? And the fucking dead beat that should never say more life. Meet the grams. Yeah, Harbor, I know you probably thinking I wanted to crash your party. But truthfully, I don't have a hating bone in my body. It's supposed to be a good exhibition within the game. But you fucked up the moment you called out my family's name. Why you had to stoop so low? 37, but you showing up as a seven-year-old. You got gambling problems, drinking problems, pill popping and spending problems. Bad with money, poor house, soliciting women problems. Therapy's a lovely start, but I suggest some ayahuasca. Strip the ego from the bottom. That is puzzling, no dominance Let's recap moments when you didn't fit in No secret handshakes with your friend No culture cachet to binge Just disrespecting your mother Identities on the fence Don't know which family would love you The skin that you living in Is compromised and personas Can't channel your masculine Even when standing next to a woman You a body shamer You go hide them baby mamas, ain't you? You embarrassed of them That's not right, that ain't how mama raised us About religious views You lied about your surgery You lied about your accent And your past tense all is perjury. You lied about your ghost riders. You lied about your crew members. They your daughter, huh? You lied about them other kids that's out there hoping that you come. You lied about the art battle. This a long life battle with yourself. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, what we're gonna do? I said I was gonna react to two, but I need to take a mental time out after that. That is literally Kendrick basically saying, Drake, you're just don't even know who you are anymore uh, there's a lot to unpack he's apparently still a deadbeat 
still neglecting children out there, hiding the world from his kids, apparently. He's also a pedophile. He's a misogynist. He's confused in the mind. He's an addicted gambler and addicted to drugs. He is all sorts of things. He's flawed in so many ways, Kendrick is saying. Well, nobody's perfect. Kendrick has his flaws as well. Drake called him a wife beater. So, um, nobody is perfect. I don't think Kendrick is coming at him from a position of perfection. I think Kendrick knows he's flawed. He mentions a lot of these flaws in Mr. Morale. He's trying to come from him to him at a position, again, at his character, attacking his integrity, attacking his sense of self, his individuality. Are you grown? Are you really grown, Drake? Or are you even growing? That's what he's. That's how he's attacking him. And it's just so disrespectful. And it's so like... It's just so disrespectful. I don't see how people can still say Drake is winning this. Because he's making good diss tracks, which will be played for the end of time. Which will get, make him money because they're catchy and they feel more like songs. They feel like song diss tracks. But... Kendrick is not even making diss tracks. Like, I think this one is not really feeling... Euphoria felt like the most diss track. 616 and this. They don't feel like diss tracks. They feel like songs telling a story. And it's a very sad story. And I think... I really do think... I don't know what to think. <laughs> I don't know what to think, man. I just think that anyone who's thinking that Kendrick is winning here is... I mean, Kendrick is losing here. You're not thinking straight. Saying that, as I said in the beginning, Drake and Kendrick are two very different people that have always been. That's why I've always found it hard to compare them. Because one's trying to be an artist, a star. Stand alone and stand out in all capacities. Pop, hip-hop, rap. As a singer, as a dancer in this genre, in this genre, in this culture, in this culture. That's what Drake's trying to do. Kendrick has always been, I'm trying to lyrically, poetically, show you guys my evolution as an individual, my human experience. They're not the same. Drake is showing his human experience, don't get me wrong, but his human experience is again, never tackled, always tackled deep issues like love, relationships i'm not going to belittle those issues they are deep issues but it's a limited range of issues that he tackles with rap because he does other things this is the point i'm trying to make he's trying to be other things as well he's trying to be a lot he's trying to be the one in it all um kendrick is not so it's very hard to compare these two and that's why this battle is weird because Drake has come at it the only way he knows how, which is to try and be it all. Even when he was doing the diss tracks, he's not just addressing Kendrick, he's addressing them all. Drake has a very all or nothing personality or perception. It's like, I want to do it all, address it all, get at it all, or I'm not going to do well or flourish or it. I'm just going to, do you know what I mean? Kendrick's is all or nothing as well but very much in the in a sense of evolution and improvement and like being like honing and fine-tuning himself and his craft like that's his all or nothing drake's is a much wider all like all of the world or nothing and kendrick i think is more trying to just improve his little world make his world the best thing he can in order to impact the worlds around him of many smaller not smaller, but many other different people's worlds, different people, different individuals. So it's like they're two artists with different agendas, different uh, sources of, 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 of drive, different, 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 different. How do you compare them and these diss tracks when they're different? And, and how do you compare this battle? This battle is very cool for the culture, don't get me wrong. But this battle is difficult to analyze because it's like, we're saying Kendrick is winning here. Well, yes, lyrically, he is. But Drake has never been a master lyricist. 
and he's never really tried to be a master lyricist. He can show that he can be lyrical, but that's not his only goal. So it's like, in that sense, yes, Kendrick is winning, but in another sense, Drake is winning because he's creating these tracks and these songs that will be played and played and played and played again, making the money which he wants to make. So it's like, in his head, he's already, and in Kendrick's head, Kendrick is just like, well, of course. Kendrick already, I think, senses that that's the, 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 the place that Drake is at, but he's still trying to like penetrate into his mind a little bit and tell him, bro, you need to change. Like I'm telling you, as a fellow guy in the industry, you need to change. Like he's still trying to penetrate Drake that way. I don't think it's gonna, like there's a disconnect. Drake is here addressing everyone. Kendrick is only addressing him, trying to shake him. And then Drake is like, no, <laughs> I'm, I've got 20 people coming against me. You've all united because I'm the best. I'm a pop star. I'm a superstar. I'm a rap star. I'm the guy. It's different. It's, it's difficult. That's my general synopsis so far. I don't even know if I want to do another video now to the, the next this track because I just feel like I just know where this is gonna go. It's just gonna be more of Kendrick doing what he's just done here. I don't see, I don't know, man. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But thank you guys for watching my reaction to Kendrick's Meet the Grahams. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button down below and leave a comment down below of your thoughts. I'll see you guys all next time.